<laughs> Golden doesn't like the skeleton boys. No, um, just popping out. What logic? Yeah, I was doing a pun. The skeletons had a bone. To pick with them. Listen to the yell. He's trying to tell you the right way to eat a hamburger. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Golden, you don't put the hamburger upside down and then shove it in your face. You gotta, you gotta eat it like a human being. It's a crab. Like a, wait, Wolf, you said eat it like a human being. He has to eat hamburgers like a human being. He can't. He's always eating them like a weirdo, and we're taking them all out to Wendy's, and he's embarrassing us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> all there. I'm just curious. <laughs> Crafted this whole cockamamie For scheme. Final, I or... should have left the stream earlier. You would have won sooner. I already took care of that. Look at those two flashing gang signs. What do you mean flashing gangs? Who's flashing gang signs? <laughs> red one and red two uh, and blue two. Did you know that these oh, intelligence are children that died during the war? No. Oh, sure, that's good shit, man. Oh. Well, even if they are children, they're clawing at Golden's knees. They're trying to break his knees. His <laughs> I little heard... boy knees. I heard that, like, uh, what was it? The Majora's Mask a game that it was either a parallel universe or it was, like, somehow, like, these people that are currently in the town are somehow linked to the game. It was a weird theory. I uh, heard that, yeah. Majora's I mean, Mask is a sequel to the... the game. Yeah. Yeah, time. yeah. Yeah. Also, Link so is continue. dead in... Twi Link is dead in Majora's Mask. I don't care what you say. We meet, <laughs> we meet Majora's have... Mask Link in Twilight Princess as a Stalfos. <laughs> yeah. I have um, the Hyrule Historia because it's so good. It's great. Well, the... I really recommend you getting it. Damn it! Well, the thing about Majora's Mask is that I keep hearing, and this is something Golden and, Lo and uh, Riley have Hawk. mentioned, it's better as a story, whereas a game, it's a little bit repetitive. It's mm. more cryptic than it is, you know, yeah. repetitive. I mean, I think the timeline is, it's cryptic, but it's not super cryptic. That makes uh, sense. I got frustrated and shut the game off. No, I, I don't like the, the timer, because like, I'm running out of time way too fast. Damn oh it. yeah, that that is a thing with um, Majora's Mask is the like, three day you know, time thing. The three day timer. Uh, and it's uh, some players find that annoying, and then when fault. it's on the last day, you got to play the song to reset time again. Then you got to wait for specific things to happen, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. My fault. I, we were talking about different things. I was talking about like, the Zelda timeline in general. I didn't know you were talking about Majora's Mask. No, the timeline itself is just um, its own hodgepodge of insanity. Because yeah, basically what I think. Was that all that all that Nintendo was trying to do was that they were trying to make a, a good game and they didn't give a shit about the timelines. It was just them throwing out these stories and these adventures of Zelda and well mainly Link and Zelda and that was it. But then people started to become obsessed with the lore and they started going, Wait, how does this timeline wait, how does this connect to one linear timeline? How does this one go over here? Where's this one? Why is this a prequel to a prequel to a sequel to a prequel? What the fuck? Until finally Nintendo said, okay, you know what? <clears throat> fuck this. Here's a goddamn book that explains everything. <laughs> and even with that book, people are like, but where does this go? Yeah, that's like that's one of those cases where people are just gonna look for something to complain about. Honestly, the concept of like it's the same thing but it's happening in di slightly different ways each time they could have just made one right. continuous timeline focused on this triforce loop and they wouldn't have had to divvy it up into different versions of everything because like, I mean, like, like i don't think anyone was was wondering like what timeline did leak fail in and what timeline did like fucking someone dying or didn't die and whatever it is like just you know it's a time it's a loop well no what, what happened was <laughs> nintendo like way before the book got released confirmed there were multiple timelines that's where it hold that's where it started oh but here's the thing though here's the thing though here's the thing though you can enjoy zelda just as a zelda game and not give a shit about the timelines. In fact, I think you will have more fun playing Zelda if you didn't give a shit about the timelines. And I you mean, know, right? I do agree. Yeah, but it's just like 
there are the people that want answers, and I, I for one, want answers. To me, I if it's if it's, a, if it's meant to be a game to not have answers, then yeah, it's perfectly fine. But if you come, if you sit there and tell me, hey, these are canonically different timelines, okay, what are they? We're not going to tell you. But but why? <laughs> That's a secret. It's a secret only I mean, we like, know. So to me, I can't fault the fans the timeline because I for one because Nintendo Nintendo was stored out. Ryza, what the <laughs> fuck is you going on at your like end? A fucking, you sound you, like a fucking Daft Punk song right no, now. No, dude, sound right like now you sound right like you're story. like yeah. yeah, no, Ryza, right you now sound like a you sound like you're coming from an analog horror flick. <laughs> yeah, you, you oh, sound like a malfunctioning AI. Hey, Ryza, <laughs> in this house. I hate you. In this house. <laughs> no, no, that house. came through loud and clear, buddy. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Not really. But... Yeah. But, um... Okay, I'll just repeat what I said then. So... Why is she talking? How much, how much did you hear? You got as far as... Fuck, where did he get? Did somebody else hear where he got before he started going? I, I don't know, man. My head is empty. Fuck. Okay. Um, so, I'll just do the t I'll just do this. With... It's not Nintendo's... It's not the fans' fault for wanting answers, because I, for one, myself, would want the answers that Nintendo said there are answers to. Yeah. It's yeah. like, hey, these are confirmed timelines. Oh, cool. Which games connect? We're not going to tell you, but why? Because that's not and the so point of people... Zelda. But that's the thing, though. I do agree that's not the point of Zelda, but it adds to the lore itself. Which makes if, the games more enticing in a storytelling point of view. If Okay, let me ask you a question, Ryza. If a Zelda game came out that was like not connected to any of the other Zeldas, but still a pretty good game... It, the fact that it's not tied to any other Zelda game would that make it a worse Zelda game? So Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> I'd love Hyrule Warriors. There I don't go. play a lot of it, but <laughs> well, I example. love that game. Like Hyrule Warriors is a is a non-canon game, but it's house. still good. But oh, when can I go to Zora's River? Hyrule Zelda Warriors really too. good in Hyrule thing, Warriors. I enjoy her. But, here, but think. Hyrule Warriors 2, Age of Calamity, is canon to the Breath of the Wild story. Because it fleshes out the Breath of the Wild universe. You like more meat? But, I don't, um, I think just I because like a game doesn't... Can, Foss, but, to answer your question, just because a game comes down is not affected to the universe, doesn't make it as well a bad game. It, is just, it just doesn't add anything to the universe. Which is whatever. Can we, can yeah. we get... A can we get a Legend of Zelda game where we get to play as Zelda as the main character? I don't know, I mean like... I would love that. I've been whatever. saying that shit for years, man! So... Here's my big reason why I want this. So that way, why Zelda you... will have her own. No, no, no. Zelda will have her own fucking kid and not be dog shit in Smash. Zelda would have that her is... own kid. Yeah. yeah, like her own like ability, like her own unique abilities that aren't they don't, they don't come from bullshit. Like all of Bullsh Zelda's <laughs> powers in Smash and Smash are from the Great Fairy. They're not okay. none of them are her powers. But like, if she had her own, like, like literally, she has her own ability. She fights with a rapier. She has a bow and arrow. She has all this shit. And for some reason, Nintendo's like, "Hey, we're gonna make Zelda." Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rise of have... like all of that makes sense. But one thing that Zelda has in Smash that not a lot of other characters have is one hell of a hitbox. Yeah. Have you seen I that? Me. Oh yeah, she's going. Fit. Sure, when playing <laughs> Zelda. I love spamming like the B button because it was not only an attack, but it was a defense. And I remember playing it with my ex boyfriend, and he got so angry with me. He's like, I fucking hate you in that goddamn spell. I said, <laughs> Kitty, I got some bad news for you. I'm a Zelda main, and I know a perfect way around it. I know the frame data, I know the invincibility frames. I Wait, know you're a Zelda side. main. I Fuck am yes. a Zelda main. I'm also a Peach main, um, a Bayonetta main. I'm starting to see a pattern. <laughs> so let's see. I I'm a Samus Spain Zero suit because I I the clunkiness of the suit. Not saying it's bad, but for me it's eh, it just worked for me. And um, who else? I do Yoshi, and sometimes I do uh, Pikachu. Mm. So I play. So you like women, so you play women and mascots basically. 
is what I'm getting. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind playing a dude every now and then. <laughs> a dude. <laughs> oh, but, like, you know, I mean, look at so, this dude. Look at this dude. I mean, look sometimes I play Blink. When I I'm go to tournaments, this... mm -hmm. uh, when I go to tournaments, I play Wii Fit, Aegis, and uh, Zelda. Is but when I'm not... playing, huh? also hold on, you, Ryza, you just went for like a straight minute talking about how shit Zelda is, and you're a Zelda main in Smash. Listen, <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Okay, Zelda is my pocket. So Zelda's Zelda's a character for I you use. Have a Zelda I don't... in your pocket. <laughs> okay, so the term pocket in Smash. So let's say I primarily I play Wii Fit Trainer and I play Aegis. Let's say there's a character like Ike. I'm like, huh? I don't feel comfortable playing this character playing against Ike with either Wii Fit or Aegis. I'm gonna switch Zelda to a matchup I feel comfortable with. That's the term of pocket, a backup. Oh yeah, and I do a Wii Fit Trainer bitch. Uh, <laughs> um, that is her canonical name. If you mouse over the that character, it will say Wii Fit Trainer bitch. Yeah, I don't think the Nintendo what was, did that. What was the point of even putting the Wii Fit trainer in there? Dude, she's like, there's yeah, a lot of characters in Smash now that do not belong there. <laughs> maybe, they were, maybe they were going for broader appeal because, like, Wii Fit trainer's I, whole thing is she bends over a lot. Yeah, she's just I'll a yoke. Why she's in Smash. So, like, they, they were trying to pull in all of the ass men to Smash. No, I do you want to notice that feature. <laughs> it's like, I don't play Smash, but they fun. failed. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll tell you why she's in Smash. The Wii Fit, the game itself, saved the Wii console. The oh. Wii game, and it is one of the highest sell. It was one of the highest grossing games over in Japan at oh, the time. Oh, the Wii Fit, the Wii Fit Trainer game. You mean you mean like yes. for the Wii U, right? That was for the Wii no, U. No, for the Wii. No, they had that was for the Wii. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it, it came no, first no, we'll for the Wii and then the Wii U. Yeah, but, Wii, Fit, Wii Japan, Fit Trainer saved the Wii. Nothing could save yeah. the Wii U. <laughs> Japan loved. No, I mean, Japan loved the Wii because that. I, I have a Wii U, and I played um, Shit. Legend of Zelda, Shit. the one of the boat. I forget the name of it. Wayne Waker. Waker. I think. It wasn't that bad. It would just suck when I wanted to play it in bed with my TV at my mom's house when I used to live there. They just sucked because I couldn't pull it into other rooms with me, and it would say, "You can't go too far from your TV." Motion Aww. controls are the worst video game and then, ever. I but I like them. the idea but, of the map being on my fucking, in my hands, and I could just, like, control and do whatever BS I need to do. And also, mm. um, the Wii Fit game actually decreased the obesity rate in Japan. So that's another big reason why they hold that game to its praise. Well, that's good. That's why she's in... Yeah, can that's I can why confide in, in something? Can I confide in uh, something to you, Ryza? That we that we that's a fun ass. What? No, that I've <laughs> never seen an obese Japanese person in all my You'd life. You'd be very surprised. Because I would like, be very surprised, actually. There are no some out like, there. Back in like that, that's the thing though. Back when the Wii was being first, that's when obesity in Japan was at its highest. And when that game came out, it started lowering down because of that game. Mm. Workout videotapes to be brought back. I'm I sorry. just, I just thought of something. Damn you know it. those really, you know those really cringe people on Twitter and stuff that like, fucking, they ostracize people who are trying to lose weight and call them fat phobic. Oh, I yeah. know what you're talking about. I, I've like, seen those people. It's so it's dumb. Like, <laughs> it's like I, I can imagine Ryza talking about the um, this whole stuff and like what the Wii did for Japan, and then like all of those people just view the Nintendo Wii as a fat phobic icon. Get the and then, so funny. Just, and then they're just like, oh, so, uh, and then they're all just like, praise the Lord, the Nintendo Wii has been dead for years. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, but yeah, that's a big reason why Wii Fit is in Smash and. She'll probably be in. The, she probably won't be in the next Smash because Ring Fit Trainer might take her place. Yeah, but who knows? Is there even gonna be a next Smash? I, oh yeah, it's like Smash like Brothers Ultimate felt kind of damn final. No, so here's the thing: there's Smash, gonna be a next it, Smash, not for a while though, not for. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. With Smash, it is one. Is Nintendo is one. Is one of Nintendo's highest money makers, and people know that. Hmm. They'd be dumb. They they would literally lose money if they didn't do that. Like literally, in the Wii U era, 
the two highest made games were Smash Wii U and Mario Kart. And that's the only, and that was, in any other game below that was like the biggest gap. Hmm. And they but don't. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why would you just why make Smash over and over again when you can just have Smash Ultimate and just keep adding new characters to it? So at that point, so the reason they they stopped because Sakurai. This is Sakurai's vision of the game. Hmm. So Sakurai said, "I want Smash Ultimate to be the game that people wanted, hmm. but it's still integral to my vision. I don't want it to be. I don't want the. I want the fans to be happy." But the fans still should remember it is my creation. And I'm choosing the characters I will go in. Like Sakurai picked every character in the DLC once DLC got announced. Like, as soon as Piranha Plant was announced, he already had the entire line. And that's why we didn't get the only, for some reason. Yeah. The only mm -hmm. the only character that was up in the air was Min Min. And that was because Sakurai was dead set to have an arms rep in the game, but he wanted to wait for the arms head developer, which character he wanted. And it was between Ninjara, um, Thick Bitch, yeah, and Min Min. That, that's nice. Let me get in there. Oh. There. And it, it turned to be Min Min. He said, I like Min Min's design, so I want to pick I want Min Min. Hmm. When are we going and to get a remake of Pokemon? I'm still waiting. Has no, like, what do you mean? A, re a remake of what Pokemon? Gen 2, it's highly neglected. Hell no. I, I was not there, will not be, there will be Pokemon games long after the fucking sun explodes. You don't have That's to true. worry about that. I but, need um, my Gen 2 remakes. Hey, I got it. Then they already have them with Heart Gold and Soul Silver, though. Guys, hold yeah, on a no, second. No, yes, yes, Logic? Can I oh. share a hot take about Pokemon? Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Isn't every subsequent Pokemon game just a remake of the first? Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Yes and no. Like. <laughs> yes. Like here's the thing. Here's the thing. No. Pokemon. Like, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon. What have you done? done? What have you done? <laughs> no, 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 I want to point this out. I'm pointing this out right now. Pokemon Company has literally the easiest job in the fucking world. It is a copy paste of each generation, and that is it. And they somehow still fuck it up. Can we talk about the stupid evolution they gave Dunsparce? Didn't oh, people know, actually, say that Sword and Shield is still worse or something? I see. Yeah. In my opinion, I, I mean, it, so in my opinion, I think Sword and Shield is better than Scarlet and Violet. Mm -hmm. But I'm not disrespecting Scarlet and Violet. I like it. My own thing. I as a okay. game mechanic, story, and Pokemon. I think I still like Sword and Shield more. I felt Sword it's, and Shield was way too fucking short. Yeah, it was. It was way too like, easy. like, I mean, like, and the thing is, Scarlet and, she Scarlet and Violet was such a bad game <laughs> on release. Nintendo was literally trying to get refunds for it because how bad the opening release was. Yeah, because they were rushing it, and then they didn't. They had so many exactly. Yeah, According to that's the thing. Though. Why Sword and Shield lit up. Sword and Shield had time to develop the, their games, and also. Who developed those games Damn. was wow. the lead video and animation designer of Monolith Soft. And Monolith Soft is the designer of Xenoblade Chronicles. I think the most disappointing part of their new games Shit. is that they, when, the, when they finally decided oh, to give up okay. they literally g gave it a, m the most dumbest and laziest evolution ever. <laughs> and then, like, well, that's the thing, though. And then Pokemon Company is like, hey, we want to release Gen 9. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You got six months. What? Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> So they, Look, like, honestly, I'd be, oh. I'd be able to forgive everything if they just added more fucking evolutions. Yes. I agree. They're probably honestly they're probably going to bring more in the DLC in the Pass, in my opinion. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm only going to go this. Monolith Saw is Nintendo's literal grace because they added every every game out there on the Switch. Monolith Saw and whoever designs Breath of the Wild do the prettiest animations, graphics, design, everything. Meanwhile, Pokemon is literally the biggest multi, is the biggest franchise in the world. Are you behind Disney? It's either mm. tied with Disney or above Disney. And they had the goal. Oh. How the fuck are you supposed to get Star torches in there in this, behind the waterfall? In the state it was.